Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Subnautica. So, yeah, let's just get started. I'm gonna kind of do what I do on Minecraft with like signs, what I've done in between episodes or what we're gonna do today. So today, our kind of main goal is to go towards that energy pulse right there. I don't know if we're gonna get to it, but I want to see what is going on with it. And also, just random things that I've done is I've added a bed right there, because why not? I've added vending machines over here, and let's see what they do. I'm pretty sure they just give us a snack, right? You just get as many snacks as we want. Okay, and they take a little bit of hydration away from you. But we also do got coffee. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and real quickly before we do go out and explore, we're going to craft something, and that is the stasis rifle that we didn't make last episode. So, bam. There's a stasis rifle. And I haven't ever used this, so... Cool. Let's see what it does. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. Does it do that? Okay, it makes a new one every single time. Well, that's kind of cool. Holy crap. Alright. Cool. How about that? Alright guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some stuff together and we're going to head out. I don't need that many batteries. And we're going to head out and just go towards that. So I'm going to grab like maybe one of these nutrition blocks and some of and some water. And I'm pretty sure our sea moth, which is over here, is pretty good. Aboard, it needs It needs some energy, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, guys, we are pretty much ready. I've got my health and everything all the way up. Energy pulse is coming from the island? Okay. Or no, is it coming from past the island? I think... Oh, Uranite Crystal. Okay. That is something new. We might need to look for more of that. Oh. I know we need this for, like, uranium and stuff like that. So I might pick some of that up when I when I see it. I didn't know about this cube. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's just sand. Okay, I scared the crap out of me for a second. I didn't even see these ones. I saw this big one. I didn't see this one at all. Are we able to get inside of these? I'll just leave my sea pot right here. Should be fine there. Let's go inside. And yeah, the energy pulse is apparently all the way at the end over there. The pulse was right here. Oh. Maybe the ener something with the energy sp is coming from this way. Or like maybe it's just the general vicinity here so we gotta go all the way until the end again. So let's see if the main energy signal has something to do with this. Pretty sure it doesn't because I'm still infected. So I don't know. It's not this. Okay, so I did a little bit of googling, and apparently the signal at the moment leads to nothing. Whatever is supposed to be isn't exactly implemented into the game yet. So, yeah, that's pretty much it then. <laughs> There's nothing I actually do. Just quite sad. What we'll do, though... After this episode, I'll do a lot more googling on this place and the other place that we're supposed to get to, because there's another building like this, and I'll see what I'm missing, if I'm missing something. But yeah, for now, I don't have any knowledge of what to do, so I guess that's just kind of it for this one. So guys, what we're going to do in the meantime, I'm just going to... I thought that was somewhere writing. We're just going to go collect some materials around here. We found those uranium crystals that I'm kind of interested in. 
We're gonna go check those out, see what they do, what we can build. I think we might need them for Cyclops, maybe. I don't know, maybe one of the suits that we still haven't found the parts for, who knows. But yeah, I'm gonna go collect some materials. Also, while I'm out collecting materials, I'm also gonna check those things out, see what they do. Oh, here's another Cyclops engine fragment. Yes, we need only one more, and then we can actually get the Cyclops, too. Which, yeah, that's very exciting. The Cyclops will help us out a ton, so maybe if I can find one more, that would be really cool. Oh, found some more Magnetite. Magne yeah, it's Magnetite. Still don't know what it does, but there's Google. I'll Google it later. What is this? <gasps> Reinforced Dive Fragment. This is another thing that I need. Oxygen. Yes, we got the blueprint for it. Nice. Alright, let's see what that does. Make sure I'm not muted. Um, just sil synthetic fibers. Ooh, that's kind of cool. We might build that later. Since the radiation is pretty much gone because we fixed the Aurora, we could do that. I think we could wear that instead of the radiation suit. So that's pretty cool. We, sh we could make that once we get back home. We got the Reginald, a new creature. How neat is that? This place doesn't look like a very safe place, to be honest. So we might go check it out while we're at it. Who knows? Though, hopefully that's another piece of the engine. That would be wonderful. No, just another dive suit fragment. If we could find the last piece for the Cyclops, that would be great. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to take all the stuff, bring it back, and then we'll come back, collect more stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to drop off kind of everything that we got, and then we'll head back out. Okay, so I made some new kind of chest categories. Made one for uranium, and we already have a magnetite one, so yeah, we're good. Alright, so our inventory is kind of cleared up. We can head back out. And also, guys, I don't know if I told you guys on camera, but we did put like a little upgrade in the Seamoth, which is kind of cool. So yeah, let's go back and maybe this time focus specifically on stuff like the uranium. Alright, so let's go on a little uranium hunt, I guess. Ooh, please tell me that's another part of the engine. Please tell me I don't get eaten by a reaper on the way down. Part of an engine? Yes, it is. I think this is the final part. Yes, we got the Cyclops, guys. Cyclops, nice. We could build that. That's not... We have pretty much all of that. We could build the Cyclops today, actually. Yeah, we could work on building the Cyclops. That is interesting. The Cyclops isn't that much. I was expecting it to be like really high tech and stuff, but we pretty much have all those materials. Oh, what the heck is that? Peace out. I'm gone. See you later. I don't want. Is it coming after me? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Nah, son. I'm out. Peace. Oh, the thing is back. No. Why? Oh, did the thing hit me? No, that was just my stupidity. Alright, we are back home. Let's drop off the items, which is a lot of uranium, but I have no idea what it's used for yet. But I guess we'll figure that out. Okay, so what I'm thinking right now, let's work on the parts for the Cyclops. So, Plasteel ingots is one of them. We need how many, how many ingots of the Plasteel for the Cyclops? We need five. Means we need five titanium ingots. That is a lot of ingots for titanium, but we do have a lot of titanium. So let's see how many ingots we can make. I know one of them is ten. And what can we make from here? Equipment. Synthetic fibers. Okay, nothing. But yeah, let's go ahead and make titanium ingots. Let's see if we can make five in total. There is the fourth one. We just need one more. And then we'll be really close. Yeah, like I said, I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm pretty 
surprised at how cheap the Cyclops is. One, two, three, four, five. Considering the Cyclops is technically indestructible, I would think it would be a lot more expensive. So this is the last ingot. And then we gotta make that into the plasteel the plast plasteel ingot, yeah. And guys, the th the exciting thing about the Cyclops is it's technically just a mini base. That's literally what it is. You can put chests in it and everything. And we'll be able to do a lot of like big like material hunting with it. It's gonna make it a lot easier. So let's see what else. Lubricant and an advanced wiring kit. Alright, so let me get some of that stuff together. Alright, so let's go over here and make some of that lubricant. Ah, oh, we need... Oh, we have two. Okay, never mind that. Okay, so we can make the chip now. We can make the computer chip, and that will be made into the advanced wiring kit. So that is another one. Now we need a lot of lubricant, so we need to grab a lot of cluster seeds from the creep vine biome. Here's one lubricant, and we're going to need to make one more. Alright, with this we're going to be able to make the other lubricant. And what is that last item again? Enamel glass. So we need a stalker tooth and glass. Now, how many of those do we need? We might have to scavenge down some... We need five. So we need five Stalker's Teeth. Now, I don't have those. I have, like, one or two, maybe. Okay, so the way to get Stalker's Teeth is pretty much to let the Stalkers bite your Seamoth, and they will drop teeth. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm pretty much just going to bait them into biting me, and then hoping they drop a tooth. So let's go. What? Is, oh, that's just one. Okay, never mind. Where is. Oh, there's a light. Probably should have turned that on. There is a stalker's tooth. Nice. Let's grab that one. Where did it go? I just saw it. Oh, there it is. Let me shine my light at it. There we go. Stalker's Tooth. Got one more. There's another Stalker's Tooth. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Wow. The luck is incre- What? Are these, like, everywhere? I've been looking for the past, like, half an hour for one or two, and all of a sudden, they're just littered around here. Thank you. I- I needed all that. I'm gonna pick up all the ones that I can. That is a lot of teeth, but we I needed a lot of teeth. Cool, alright. Well, I'm kind of low on everything, so that's a really good find right there. That is a really good find. I spent a good bit of time out here, but it's fine. We ended up getting the teeth we need, and actually more than we needed. So that's pretty good. Now, the one thing that I do kind of putting down is I do need glass still. I probably don't have enough quartz for that. So we are going to go... We're going to have to hunt for that too. And I need to fix my sea glide because it's about to break. Alright, let's see how much quartz and glass that we have. I'm pretty sure we have a good amount right oh there's two glass already in here cool because i know we have one chest of quartz here and it's not super full what about this one though this one's pretty filled as well all right let's go make some glass and yeah we will be able to build a cyclops right now i think so that's a pretty cool enamel glass that's one that's two now we're going to have to make the normal glass. Alright, we'll be able to make it. I can't believe we're making the Cyclops already. This is great. I didn't think we would get the Cyclops this quickly. But yeah, we have made it. Let's go outside. It is a little bit dark, but it's fine. 
Let's go find the vehicle bay. And the Cyclops is operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helm's special attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Well, I am good at piloting stuff solo, so that's fine. Oh, no, that's going to... That's gonna fall on top of my building. Ah, this was a bad idea. That's gonna fall on top of it. Ooh, that was way too close. Way too close. Whew. Whoa, this is a big vehicle. Board Cyclops from here. I have to get, like, under it. Welcome Ooh. aboard, Captain. All systems online. This is cool. I'm gonna have to kind of explore it. Oh, that's the engine. This is... I think another exit. And here we can put lockers and stuff. Cool. What's down here? Oh, this is just back... Okay, cool. So yeah, click to edit, submarine color. Cool, let's make it black. Oh yeah, let's make it black, like that. Let's name it the aqua, just because why not? Done. Now how do we drive this thing? I need, first of all, I need to get it away from my base. Are we good? I think we're good, yes. Now, okay. Us uh, to cycle cameras. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so we can kind of look at our cameras. Nice, nice. This is the front facing camera. Okay. I like it, I like it. So guys, we have made the Cyclops. That is so cool. And yeah, oh, that's a weird glitch. And in here, the cool thing is, when we go on missions and stuff, we can put chests in here. So when we go out, grab our stuff, we don't have to come all the way back home. We can just place the stuff in here. And also in here, we could put our sea moth also. Let's actually do that. So yeah, guys, we got the Cyclops. That is so cool. Let's go get the sea moth. And we can actually dock the sea moth inside here. We can also dock the prawn suit once we make that. Alright, there it is. So we gotta kinda go under it. Go up, and yeah. It'll dock it right for us. And we can enter sea moth this way. This is so cool. Real quick, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go grab my uh, habitat builder. And we're going to place some chests and stuff in there. Okay, guys, so for now, let's kind of work on tricking out the Cyclops a little bit. So things that we're going to need is things like the Fabricator, you know, our normal, really pretty much the Fabricator and some chests. Kind of what we have in this house. Alright, so let's go make the Fabricator first, I guess. We're going to need three silver ore. One, two, three. We're going to need some table coral. One, two. Alright, guys, I think we have enough to fabricate the Fabricator. Or build the Fabricator. Alright, looks like we do. And now, let's just go get some quartz and titanium for the chests. So yeah, guys, now we'll have onboard storage with us everywhere we go. And that is going to be real useful because now we are going to be going to some of the, like, deeper parts and stuff like that. So this is going to be really good. So yeah, we can come over here right by the loading area. Take this out. We can put the fabricator right here. And yeah, at this current update, I'm pretty sure the Cyclops is undestroyable. So this will never explode either. And Reaper's and sea dragons cannot destroy this either so right now this is technically a safe haven nothing can get us here reapers nothing okay so let's go ahead and build some mounted chests and these will just be storage areas 
so of course our main storage area will always be at the base here so once stuff gets full here i will bring it back but this will be really good when we go out for missions we'll be able to get a lot more stuff now i won't have to head back every time but this does also mean because we're heading out on missions that i'm not going to be able to come home for water and food a lot so what we're going to need to do is also stock up on stuff like food and water yeah guys i really didn't think we were going to get the cyclops this early in the game or at least in my opinion it's still early game even though i do know that we've actually gotten pretty far because I'm looking at a lot of the YouTubers, like kind of like Markiplier, and they're they're on episode like 60, and I'm only on episode like nine, and I already have the Cyclops. So either I do a lot more work in a single episode than they do, or we just progressed extremely fast. Either one is a good thing in my opinion. Okay, so now we got some chests going, and how many more chests can we build? If we can build more, why not? Right, more storage. Can we build more? No. Okay, well that is enough lockers. So yeah, we're pretty much just decked out now. There's nothing specific that we need in here. We could go maybe get some coffee machines and stuff in case something goes like terribly wrong, which we should make. Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of the episode here. I'm trying to look if we can specifically build anything else. And things like the modifications we'll have to pretty much do later. But yeah, guys, I think we're going to call it an episode. It might be a little bit short today, but at the same time, we did end up building. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> but we did end up building the Cyclops, which is technically like a gigantic achievement in game. So I'm going to call it an episode, guys, while we stare at the beautiful new Cyclops. Guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a support to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.